percentages to the max. Countywide charter, unlike any other charter, the matrix allows for more discretionary by the board, unlike any, any other charter, according to ETCO. <coughs> unlike any other charter, the countywide charter has a lot more discretion by the board members versus following the description of the matrix itself, unlike other charters. So, just for clarification purposes. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Okay, the second speaker here will be Anita Johnson. Good evening. This charter school is a bad idea for many reasons. Most importantly, it would divert revenue from other schools in the county. And as you know, California's funding for schools is woefully inadequate. We rank 46th in the nation and spend only 62% on our students as the average state. Until funding improves, we cannot afford the revenue drain this experiment would create. Secondly, another reason this experiment is a bad idea is the history of financial fraud and abuse we have seen at charter schools nationwide. While a few of these experiments have helped some students, many more have been proven to be nothing more than ATM machines for their operators. I fear that the financial control procedures that we would need to, that would need to be created for all of these charter schools will become an unfunded mandate that will drain the already scarce resources of the county. These are just three of the reasons that this charter school is a bad idea. Thank you. The uh, next speaker here didn't identify himself. So uh, what I'm going to do is put that last and just ask anybody that didn't just fill that one. Sit and didn't get a chance to uh, speak. Uh, and they can step forward. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Jack LaRue, please. Thank you. Dibru. Uh, Dibru. Sorry, my, my uh, writing brought up. Uh, thank you, uh, board members, for uh, your patience and uh, interest in performing arts. Uh, I was a drama teacher in the Mount Haverhill Unified School District for 35 years. Uh, in my retirement, I've been working, volunteering with the uh, Eugene O'Neill Foundation as Vice President of Education. In that capacity, I've had the opportunity uh, to put my footprint on 17 or more high schools, and that's